hi guys welcome back to my channel so i wanted to do a get ready with me today and i wanted to just you know you guys to see me do my foundation makeup and everything um because i just thought well why not let's just do it it's the holiday season so i'm going to be using my chanel sublimage in the shade one to one now just so you know i've gone in with my primers i went in with my danessa myron uh, danessa myrick serum primer and i also went in with my um LME's food super food primer and the brush I'm using today is a Fupa brush so let's apply the foundation together might be in a little bit of a hurry today doing getting ready because I have to go catch up um, the Christmas market just trying to blend up the um, the foundation okay okay so let's go into primers sorry concealers what do I keep talking rubbish today okay so we're gonna use this uh, concealer in the shade 70 and it's messy I already have my hands cleaned but let's use this brush to just pick up what I want I'm just gonna tap on it and just gonna put it there before I come back to blend so I'm just gonna leave it there for now I like to apply this uh, concealer a lot because when you because it's quite creamy when it blends out you know and you've had your powder and everything it doesn't look too much as you, you know as it looks at first it's so creamy and I've got who dead eyes who dead everything you know <laughs> so this this concealer is my best concealer for the year because of the it's one concealer that doesn't let my eyes crease, you know, as as much as older, so. My under eyes, I mean. Okay, let me blend this out and be right back. Okay, so that's me just still trying to finish off the concealer. And I always use my foundation brush to blend out my concealer okay so that's what we have you see it looked as if i had much but you can see what it looks like now so that's why i like that concealer um i'm gonna go in with my uh favorite uh, contour and i'm using the same foundation brush just because it serves the purple so why not To me, this conceal, this uh, the Chanel concealer, and this um, Charlotte Tilbury concealer is my greatest find of the year. This two because this concealer, the uh, the warmth, the undertone is just right off the street. Nothing to be afraid of, scary. Sorry, that was my daughter. So this the the undertone is just right, really right for me. So that's why I really think it's my greatest find of the year anyway so you can see see how much warmth it's added to my skin right away that's just perfect okay so let's do my eyes i've not really done my eyes uh on uh on camera before i'm just putting back the concealer i had on before just to brighten this part of my eyes that's all just you know what i had on the brush I'm just using all of them okay so let's do my eyes and for the first time i'm gonna do my eyes on camera the only thing I have to get um, my eyebrows, sorry. I'm just gonna get um, a mirror so I can do that perfectly. Ignore my daughter at the background, okay? If that's if you can do that, I appreciate um, Let me just just get a um, I'll just use this for the sake of the fact that I have to use the mirror and I might as well use the eyeshadow, but let's use this for my for my eyes. 
Okay, so, the, so that's the this is eye pencil I, I always use. I just sharpen it, make sure it's sharp. It's like a coffee brown color. That's what it looks like there. I don't know if you can see, but anyway, I'll show you later. So I just go. So that's so that's it. That's one eye. The same brush. Oh, sorry. Okay. So let's do this eye. Let's well. Let's just continue with this eye. And that's that. As soon as I've done that, I leave it. Oh, sorry. And then I just go back and use this first brush. Brush. And I reach for my concealer, which is where the magic happens. So let's go with it. Then I reach for this flat angled brush and all I do is just to make sure it's done properly. And that's that. Now all I need to do after that, reach for my concealer brush and just do this. All I do, come back here and just go, use just the same brush, just sweep it out, you see the shape? And to me, I think that's too chiseled on the side, so I'm just going to touch up there. So all I need to do, once my concealer has taken too much than I, than I wanted to do, I just reach back for the eye pencil. I can't find that particular one, I have two of them, so I just sharpen this one again. And then I go here and just fill it in. So yeah, so that's that's a day. See how much it so I just go back with the concealer to take it out a bit, the little area that I feel is, is longer than necessary. That's all I do. And that's my eyes um, all done. So all I need to do now, go back to my brush again just I always like to blend make sure everything I'm doing blends out properly and I always use my foundation brush to do all the blending because that's what I use to apply the foundation in the first place anyway so now that that's done the next thing I want to reach for is my powder and for today I'm gonna to play with two powders I got this hourglass powder as a sample and I tell you I can't wait to buy the major the full powder I'm just trying to convince myself when to but I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and I'm using my Chica Hodo Z series brush the cheek brush I just need to okay yeah so I just I just pour as much as I want there 
I've just discovered it of late and it's been my best friend. This particular powder. This here, the things that the makeup I fell in love with the most was powders. As much as I love eyeshadows, my favorite this year has been powder setting, finishing powders, all of them. So good this powder I really like it so I use that to create a base for my eye you see it was looking white white as you can see before but you see it's all gone so now now that I've done that I leave that for now I go back to I reach out for this my uh, Fenty Beauty honey powder just for the undertone and I just put it up again just Sorry. Okay, sorry, my mirror. Uh, sorry, my camera just fell. I said my mirror. So that's what it's looking like now that we've used those two powders. I'll close that. I'll leave the hourglass over there for now. Okay, so let's use that opportunity and get into the eyes. And I've been loving all my all my Sonia G brushes. My favorite so far now is this one. So I'm just gonna pick it out and this. And I'm also gonna use my refer brush today. So because I use this this stuff for the mirror, let's use this for my eye look today and I'm just tapping on the shade you can see mm -hmm. the thing about Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath is the eyeshadows do what they need to do. When you talk about pigment, like I need it to come out like this, boom, it does it. Every other ones, mm, they're lucky. I just feel like they are like, talk about eyeshadows that need to do the work. Mm -hmm. Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath. They do what they need to do. So that's that. Leave that brush for now. I don't think I like the other brushes I have for what I want to do. But, okay, let's reach for this one. Okay, let me play with black today. So, let's use this black. I haven't used it. I'm just placing it there, leaving it for now. back to that brush you know the brush I use in putting the fresh shade I'm using that to blend it out
Okay, so that's blended out that's still leave it there and i've used these two brushes okay i'm gonna keep that down and let's reach for this flat brush i don't know what shade to play with today okay let's go into this purple Okay, so this purple is what I went in with and I'm just tapping it again and just placing it again. This is why I like this brush. I feel like it's the placement brush, it places things where you want it to go on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Still going to use the same brush. I'm not going to change and I'm going to reach for the shade, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. You know the one that shifts, so yeah. See, this is doing what my hand will do, so that's fine. I wish I, I need to find brushes with this very flat placement from Sonia G. Yep. yeah that's baby okay so let's go back to that shade of our black so we go back to that shade of our black and just tap it there the same brush not taking anything just the one we had before that was remaining on the brush leave it there and then go back here and just blend 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 i turned the i flipped the brush Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, that's what we have. So we done with. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. I'm gonna put the eyeliner before I come and do the down area. I'll be right back. So I've done the winged eyeliner just a little bit the way I want it. So I'm gonna reach for. I'm not gonna reach for this. I need another tiny brush. Okay, I'm gonna reach for this one, and I'm gonna go into this shade and this shade. So that's what I have there and then I want to go into this shade it's in the same brush I've packed, packed moved into the shade because that shade is not bright enough so let's go something yeah go something brighter And I try to take it up. Yep. And then just to go back again and make sure everything is in place. I'm just going to this purple, just open jean, whatever you call it, just to that's fine 
just go in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That one goes back there. And I'm just going to flip, yeah. I'm going to flip the brush and just try to make sure where that I had that was blending. Now that I've done that, I'm done with that. I'm going to go back to this concealer brush. You know the concealer? I'm just going to go, the one I use for my eyes. And I just like to use it to clean. That's what I always use to clean my eyes, that. I go back there and I just... So yeah, so that's it done. That's the eyes done. Mascara and I'll be right back. Mascara is done. Next we're gonna go into okay. I'm just gonna go into my powder again. My hourglass powder this time around. Okay, now another hourglass and this time we're going to use it as a bronzer first and then use one of the powder there as a finishing powder so i'm going to use this as my bronzer for now this was the one that i decluttered i think that yeah last year when it came out and i repurchased again and i don't mind doing that i think if you buy something and you feel at that moment you're not going to use it to clutter it and then when you think you have need of it get it back but i don't like to keep something there and it stays and it starts reaching its expiry date might as well declutter somebody else might want it at that time you know so that's what i always do and that's why i don't like to have too many eyeshadows either if i think of I have too many, I declutter and I just focus on the ones I really love and when I need them again, I purchase them if I need them. So that's my bronzer. Now let's go into this powder with the same brush and for the other part of my face that doesn't have powder. yeah so that's my face for now for bronzer i'm gonna go into my bronzer seat um no this brush is not it for that so let's switch for another brush and that's more than enough Okay, so I've applied my uh, highlighter and the highlighter I used was this one, the Givenchy Prism Lib, Lib Highlighter. This was, a, this was a limited edition. This has been my best highlighter. I've used this so much that I had to stop using it and I only reach for it because it depends on certain eye looks I create, that highlighter just comes to life. The other ones, I mean it's more versatile for me I should say, more than my other highlighter. So yes, that's why. Okay. Let's get into lip. Now, before that, I like to spray. And that's that. So now, let's go for the lips. And for the lips today, let's do... Okay. Let's reach for my Lancome. Uh, and for now, lip has to be dry and then we're going first with this leave that first
thing I do is dark my lip a bit I got my little boss is telling me it's time up so that's that for now so that's the final look let me know your thoughts.